Alright, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, the promotion has relied on Donald Cowboy Cerrone quite a bit. He's the most active fighter on the roster. He's had a lot of success in two different divisions, but since moving up to the welterweight division, he has been on an absolute tear. Cerrone very much still with those championship aspirations now. We'll see if he can get it done tonight here in a big spot once again. Donald Cerrone is a well-rounded fighter with great submissions and great Muay Thai. He's extremely difficult to finish, a lot of heart, great chin, and he fights very well in the later rounds. So as this confident young fighter makes his walk to the octagon, you can be sure his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent to the mat? Because once I get him down, I know I can keep him there, potentially for the duration of the round, if not the fight. This guy's top game is scary good, and it's not just about getting you down, keeping you there, using the body weight effectively so that you can't get up or use a hip escape. This guy will sap your willpower with the best of them, and more often than not, guys, just have to give up and, and wait for the round to end. This guy is an arm bar and a leg lock specialist. In every fight that you see him in the octagon, he looks to secure a limb and finish with a submission. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Cerrone is eight years his senior. He is four inches taller. He will have a one inch reach advantage. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA. Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 10 wins, one loss. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Alexander the Great Hernandez! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lobby. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? You ready? We are ready to go with round one here. Oh, head kick attempt. That one's clean. Oh, nice knee. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. That one hurt. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Cowboy Cerrone. Now mixing one into the body. Rizzano looking for the takedown, but he gets stuffed. And he's up. Clean execution on that leg kick. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Cowboy Cerrone. Oh! Well, so he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's keeping his head on the center line. He's got to change things up a little bit here. Well, the strike lands, but just not doing a whole lot of damage because his stamina is low. You got to be careful when you throw the same technique over and over and over again. And he lands the roundhouse. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. He lands an excellent combination. Oh, useful sprawl there as he's able to avoid the takedown shot. He's got the plum here. Joe exhausting work here in the clinch. Knees to the oh, body right Big elbow. elbow! Oh, huge elbow! This could be it! Oh, 
Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Oh, very nice. Finds his range with the jet. Pretty good shot there. Nice front kick. Once again, establishing the jab here. Oh, a lot of volume here. Good series of strikes there. How about that chin? Excellent job there, stuffing that, and that's big. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Cowboy Cerrone. He's tagged him. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Beautiful jab. Beautiful jab. Sharp timing. Nice shot. Now he goes for the single leg. And he nails him again. That strike blocked by Cowboy Cerrone. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. Cerrone gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Oh, Vicious elbow. elbow lands to the head. Nasty combinations here. Oh! Cerrone gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Oh, elbow to the head. And there he swung with a haymaker. Oh, nice. And both guys really throwing with authority. Cerrone going for the head kick. No dice. Round two next. Let's take a look at it again here. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Very impressive striking going on in that round. You got 10 more minutes of that. Can you give me 10 more minutes of that? Deep breath. Get your air back. Sit up straight. Now you. Brittany Palmer is in the building doing work as usual. Let's get to round two. Starting off this round, you got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. Donald Cerrone is one of the wildest, most game fighters in mixed martial arts today. He has outstanding Muay Thai, a ridiculously good submission game as well. And big elbow. elbow to the head lands. He's stunned. He's got him hurt here. Body kick, look at that. Huge kicks. Oh, another body kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect Joe on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. Big shot to the liver. He's stunned. He's hurt. Nice leg kick. Going orthodox now. He's orthodox now. Ooh. Cerrone's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Going to the body there with the right kick. Oh, he continues to effectively use his jab here, much like he did in the previous round, Joe. Cerrone gets double underhooks here in the clinch. Normally now he'll try to change levels and go for a takedown. In half guard. Goes upstairs for an elbow. As he looks to improve position here. Big punch from the top. Another elbow landed there by Cerrone. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. This could be it right here. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his own. Oh, he He's locked. Whoa! 
He's in a lot of trouble. Big shots! Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Nice takedown. Oh, look at this. Triangle! Oh! He's got the knee over the ankle. Pins down. It's getting tighter. This could be it. He could tap. Round three next. All right, that's the end of the round, and you see the cut on the cheek. That thing is getting downright nasty. It is getting worse here by the minute. And you got to wonder, to what extent does that impact him moving forward here in this fight? You at least have to ask the question. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. Last round. He outstruck you, landed more power shots, and he was more aggressive. This time, I need you to dig deep. I need you to get in there close and pound away. Ariane Celeste is with us. You ready? You ready? Crowd fired up, so are we third and final round. Just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes and a good sign. Oh, he there. stunned him. He got hurt bad. Wow! <laughs> Big roundhouse kick KO for the victory. Yeah, Joe, that one is going to be hard to top when it comes to handing out performance bonuses late in the night. A huge kick for the knockout victory, and he couldn't have caught him much more flush. Full force, full extension, and you knew if he connected with that weapon at one point in this fight, it was going to spell the end of the night for his opponent. Mission accomplished right there. Let's take a closer look at that from a different angle. Check it out here. Boom! And then he's out. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near-perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute, nine seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tunnel Cowboy Cerrone. Well, this guy just might retire as the UFC's all-time wins leader. Tonight was certainly a step in that direction. Donald Cowboy Cerrone gets it done yet again. Another big spot. And you can argue this was one of the best performances of his career.